What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to simplify a complex fraction that has some variable exponents in it, alright? And this problem was specifically requested in the comments section, so if you guys ever have any questions just let me know in any comment section, alright? So here we have 3 raised to the n plus 3 raised to the n plus 1 all over 3 raised to the n plus 1 minus 3 raised to the n. Okay, now one way we can simplify this is by breaking down this term right here. So 3 raised to the n plus 1. Now as you can see we're adding two different terms in our exponent, right? So that actually means we can rewrite this and just multiply them together. So I can rewrite this, this is the same thing as 3 raised to the n times 3 raised to the first power, right? Because that's what we have right here, a positive 1. So we put a positive 1 right there. Okay, so then we can rewrite this a little bit as 3 raised to the n plus 3 raised to the n times 3 raised to the first power, which is just 3, right? And then that's going to go over the denominator, which again, we can rewrite this just like that. So 3 raised to the n times 3 raised to the first minus 3 raised to the n. Okay, so now that we broke that down a little bit, uh, something else that we can do now is, you can see we have a bunch of 3's everywhere, right? So why don't we factor out a 3? So let's factor out a 3, not just a 3 though, let's factor out a 3n, so we can try and get rid of this exponent as well. So on top, let's factor out 3n, and then what are we going to be left with on the inside? Well, if we factor out a 3n here, we're going to be left with a 1, and then that's going to be plus and then we're going to be left with a 1 right there also, and then times 3, right? And this 3, it's going to stay right here because I didn't factor out just a 3. I factor, factored out specifically 3 raised to the nth power. And as you can see, this 3 doesn't have an exponent on it, right? So that's why it's going to stay inside of the parentheses just like that. All right, so then on the bottom, we can again factor out the same thing, right? A 3 raised to the n. And then in parentheses, we're going to be left with, let's see, 1, right, uh, times 3 again, and minus 1. Okay, so as you can see, we have the same term on top and the bottom, so those cancel out. And then here we're left with, let's write it over here, uh, 1 plus 1 times 3. Well, remember PEMDAS, right? So we're, let's do multiplication first. 1 times 3 is 3, so 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. So we have 4 on top. And on the bottom, we have 1 times 3, which is 3, and then 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. All right, so 4 over 2 is equal to 2. All right, so then our answer right here would simply be positive 2. Boom. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.